Okay, so we are back with FM 2016 and second season um, with my Liverpool team. Just trying to find a couple of scouts. Ideally, I want the best that I can get, but it's not always possible. So, we've got a couple here. We've got Roberto Policano. I think. He looks like he's worthwhile. Just pick him up right now. He wants five grand a week, isn't too bad. We'll take him. And then, what do we want then? Chief Scouts. I don't think they'll come to me as normal Scouts. But you never know. Director of Football. No, don't want him. And Man Martin Kleitsch, if that's how you pronounce his name. We'll just see if we can pick him up. Chief Scout, I don't just want him as a scout. Nah, he doesn't want to come as a just a normal scout, so we'll drop this down, see if anyone else appears. We've got Innocente. We will get him. Job's a good one. And let's move on. My first match is against Chelsea in the Community Shield, so hopefully that'll go well. We can beat them. Gary Monk has accepted the offer to become England's next manager. Very interesting. Rogani set to sign for Liverpool. I think uh, it's possibly overpaid for him, but you know, he, he looked very, very decent. Yeah, he's definitely going to be my, in my first team straight away. Who, let's see what else, who else have we bought? We have in the transfers, transfer history, say this season if we can, current season. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just going to be this season. Zivkovic, Vlasic, Martinez. We've got quite a few good little people. So let's just crack on anyway. Splashing the cash. Achievement unlocked. This is Rugani. Speak to Henderson. Get him to welcome him. Exit that. Squad registration. Don't know whether he needs to go in, but... Send them on an intensive training course, good uh, language training course. We've got as a ball playing defender, quite like that. Regime to improve his jumping, which he's got anyway. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, what else can I do for him? He possibly needs. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll leave it as it is for now. See what happens. Central America, a load of crap. We've set the record for the highest spending, fifty-five million pound. Its previous record was thirty-six. Important dates just shows the matches that are coming up. Uvatch's training report. Herb Kane is improving well. Oh Jesus Christ, he is as well. I want to get it, give him games. Jakovic, he's improving well. Adam Phillips, he's improving well, but he's not he's not the best in the world, so we just have to let that one carry on. Let's keep going. So we're gonna reveal Rugani. Reportedly this signing has swallowed a big chunk of you. Um not gonna discuss it. Surely why I spend them so much, don't wish to answer that question. Do you think the big money paid for the players these days put pressure on them for success? Um, I wouldn't say unless I knew the player was a solid investment who would deliver for this club. Many pundits are suggesting that you have perhaps overspent on this transfer with a fee perceived to be excessive per player gets stuffed. No, completely disagree. We have a great deal. Does it still have much? You know what? They just they prod and prod and prod. Pretty much like in li real life. Squad win bonus can stay as the normal. World confidence update is secure. However, we're disappointed to note that you are attempting to play 
that you're not attempting to play possession football. Hmm, that is interesting. Right, let's go to my tactics. No, I'm... maybe I need to look at it then. Seeing as they, this is one of the things that they want. Retain possession instructs players to prioritise keeping hold of the ball. I don't really like that because it slows it down quite a lot. Although my tempo is tempo is tempo. My God, my tempo is normal. So maybe we just we do go with retain possession. See how that works out. If it doesn't help things, then obviously I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to change it again. They can be upset all they want. Backroom advice meeting. Training and workload, workload, workload. Individual training. Vuvac feels that he put Stojanovic to improve his stamina. He is on. Stamina is. Stamina, even. Stamina. Oh my god. 12, which isn't bad. But oh, I don't mind putting him on that. Improve his jumping. Okay, we'll see what happens. Let's see what Zivkovic's composure is at. 14. It's not awful, but okay. He was encouraged to get forward whenever possible. Don't mind that. Scout him. List them. List them. List them. Offer for loan. Oh, don't want to put him out on loan. He's going to be a monster when he gets going. Don't know when he's going to get going, like, but hey, we'll have to wait and see. Hi, who's in the chat? He really is going to be. <laughs> he's going to be so good. I do want him to play left midfield though for this formation. There you go, he's gonna be great. Oh, off for loan, Bobby Adekan, yeah. Move to squad, oh, just not interested when it's all the crap players. Then increased ability on Tom Brewitt, but again he's one of my crap players. Got Randall, he's awful. Increased ability on Lazar Markovic, yeah, we happy with that one. I am Jakovic. It's potential to be a quality player, yes. And who have we got? Herbie Kane, yes, we know about him as well. We've got Grujic, yep. He's going to be awesome, hopefully. Even beyond Jordan Henderson, it says. He does look good. Must admit, let's just check his training. Roman playmaker, I'm happy with. Just leave that on. Suggested formation, yada yada yada. Well, let's go. Offers me for Adekanya. I don't know whether that was a mistake or not. Ah, he needs games and he's only, what, 17, so we will. You can do one. The previous loan promise has been wrong. Joffrey isn't good enough. First cover for first team. Offer isn't good enough. First team regular, that one's alright. Then we've got we've got first team regular, that one will be alright. Then we've got first team regular. You can sod off, they can sod off. First team regular. Reject and reject. And let's crack on. Coopers fails to adapt to games to stay back at all times. It's unfortunate. But he's another one who's going to be a monster. I'm training him as a Roman playmaker because it, it will improve a lot of his physical stats, which, when they're only young, that's what you want to do. So he's 20, so it should improve pretty much as quickly as possible. I'm not too worried about the other thing. Oh, so they're looking for to get Lazar. Do we want to sell him? I 
I don't know, 25 and a half million, it may be worth it. Question. Or we'll consider selling them, but only for the right price. So we we'll see what they say. Pelican always coming to me. So I don't mind that one. That's one to recommend some um, players. Higuain. We aren't going to buy Higuain because he's too expensive. Marek Hamsik and his age as well, and his age. So we we'll just crack on with that. We got Jabby Martinez. Um, don't think so. Yeah, I'm going to play attack and movement. I think I'm going to stick with my formation, the 4 1 3 2 formation, for this match. Why do they want. The world is postponed due to staffing limits at the club. They're willing to allow you to release staff member operating in the same role in order to complete the transfer. Oh, that's great, isn't it? So, staff. He's, well, he's the chief, isn't he? So we'll leave him. So we've got 14, 16, 11, 12. Barry Hunter's in the lead to get jibbed off. Um, who have we then got? Ian Barrigan, 13, 16. Fernando Torini, 15, 16. Andy Sayer, 12, 16. Carl Walbanks, 17, 17. Oops. Back again. We've got David, what's his name? John Hale, 17, 16. You know what? I don't even think I need to look at the other ones. So was I can't remember who it was now was the other changed Jesus Barry Hunter bye bye Barry it's unfortunate but there you go Innocent D complete smooth send on now blah 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 Oops. And his first counting is Gabriel Vasquez and Sami Kadira. All of which are pretty okay, but the age of these two, I'm not happy with that. Available first team players. We've got Chelsea in four days, so we should have a bit of time. Till 5th, 45 minutes. These players, uh, I'll just leave them, seeing as they don't need to get any fitness or anything. Alex Merritt, it looks half decent. Hmm. Just trying to see. <laughs> Earning zero pounds per week. Value that that much. Let's make an offer, see what it says. Yeah, 48 and a half million. I don't think so. Newcastle make Flanagan bid. Flanagan's worth 4 million. They're trying to give me 3.4 million. Well, um, I just don't know about that. Oh, Sodgers then, if you don't want them. Until fifth forty five minutes. Again I can leave these guys. Maybe. Maybe give them twenty minutes each just to give them something. Uh, they want Grooge John Lone, key player, midfielder centre, and end, end of the end of the end of the season. Which team was it? Hadjuk split? Yeah, we might as well. The benefit from first team football. And we got Stojanovic. I are, um <laughs> What's the easiest way for me to do it? That sounds dumb and um Do I need to go up and say add add stroke remove leagues, I guess? 
lehet van szrevka. I asked the question and then I've ended up doing it myself. I didn't want to put too many leagues on just so that I didn't overload it. How are you anyway, Sam? Out, Markovic is going to come and say, I want more money. I'm not too bad, I'm a bit tired. Starts the stream a little bit late, and I need to finish it quite early because of the matches on it. 1 30 again, so just trying to get through the start of the season and see how we get going. Not too bad. Just to apply advice on that one. When we're ready to host Community Shield, blah de blah. Can't remember who he was. Jose Mourinho seems a bit overawed, blah blah. Pain in the backside of the times, these things. Board expectations is, you know, if people ask me these things, I can never remember where to look for them. Go on, give us a clue. Where do we need to look? Last time I seen it, I think it was the last week. <laughs> Sam, do you know by any chance where I need to look to have a look at the expectations? I don't think they were that different to the previous season. Click on competitions, I think. Competitions. Ah, okay, yeah. So they're, they're here. So we've got for the Premier Division, qualify for the European Champions League. Same as last season. Then for Champions Cup, reach first knockout round. Obviously that's different because we were in the Champions League last season. Then we've got reach semi-final. Not important and not important. So pretty much the same as last time hopefully I can achieve this one no problem and this one I'm obviously hoping to be first at the end of the season but anything can happen with FM16 you can have one brilliant season and then the next season you can have a really crap one so just hoping that I can improve No props on looking. No, oh, he's not a bad player. Value that a hundred thousand, but obviously it won't we won't get him for a hundred thousand. Grujic is gonna go to um Hedrick Split. Yeah, 
he's joined them. So team selection, Reykjavik in goal. Let's see where we go from there. Hopefully Nathaniel Klein is okay. Yeah, he's fifth. We've got Moreno. I'm going to swap Jemison for Rugani. And then I think I'm going to play Martin Scale. Cubus, I'm going to replace him with. Oh god. Don't really have anyone who's brilliant. So Emre Khan's going to go there. Then we've got Ibe Henderson, Coutinho, Zivkovic. I think I'm going to play him. Obviously, we've got Danny Ings, Jerome. Um, Sinclair, we've got you know, quite a few options, but I think at the moment Daniel Sturridge is the man for the 12 star position, and then I'm going to play Sipkovic in the advanced forward because he's slightly quicker. So yeah, I think Sturridge has acceleration 17 and pace 16, so I'm going to leave him with his additional little bit of pace up there. Then for subs. Put Jemison back in. We've got Kubas who I want to put on the subs bench. Firmino's banned or out for some reason or other. And I think that's it really. Oh, Joe Riggs actually got more potential than them. Um, than Jerome Sinclair. I think that should be fine. Hopefully we can win this. So. Who have we got? You know what? I'm going to play replace Markovic. I think that'll do. I'm just going to get on with it. It's only the um, charity shield. I've stats of um, probably not significantly better, but they have improved. I mean, it's a pity that you couldn't, um, you know, it wasn't in the game where you could check start of the first season compared to the start of the second season. I don't know whether how that would be able to be written into the game, whether it'd be possible or anything like that, because. I know a lot of people always ask, you know, how have people improved and it's always different for different players and it also depends on, you know, your staff and what you do with them, etc. Hi Marshall, not a lot. I'm just about to start the um, Charity Shield game. Or Community Shield even. <laughs> Someone got number 13 there, I'm lucky for some. expecting a better reaction from that one but oh well fingers crossed we can win this one oh for god's sakes Reykjavik is injured already Divkovic even not my keeper and I've only got Jerome Sinclair to put in as a sub. <laughs> That's great. I mean, at the end of the day, I can change my formation, but I don't want to do that just yet. I'll wait until the second half if need be. Have a look on the training tab. Pretty sure you can see his attribute development on there. Um, I'll have a little look after the match. I mean, obviously, it's not. It'll show you a visual. It'll say it was down here and now it's up here. Blah blah blah. But it's not always easy to see exactly. So you've gone from say 13 to 15 or 13 to 14, that kind of thing. 
sometimes it's easier to see it in numbers rather than a graphical form. But I could be wrong. I like to play the game. I wouldn't say I'm the like an expert. Oh, for God's sakes, that was awful by my defenders there. I hope that weren't Regani in his first match doing things like that. It was him as well. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbe unbelievable. I mean, I wouldn't say we've been doing awful against them. Hopefully we can do better in the second half. Fire them up. See how we go. He's playing it, having a 6.4. <laughs> it's great. So, I need to do something different. Just don't know what it is. Maybe I'll see if I, if I swap Jerome and Daniel Sturridge, see what happens there. Um, defenders, did they put anyone on? I've got Jemison. I think Jemison will have to go in because he's just not doing too well. Hopefully, we can nick a goal in a minute. Not soon. Ah, okay. I'll give it a go, Marshall. I'll b I'll bow down to your um, better knowledge than mine. Thanks for the follow, Marshall. <laughs> well, he just seemed to get shrugged off the ball far too easily. It was unbelievable. What the f... Oh my god. Oh. That was awful. By Jerome Sinclair. Oh, he was getting what? What's happening? Rain on. Was it just a yellow card? Yeah, okay. So, if I go to a my 4-2-3-1 formation, Sturridge is going to go in there. Got Coutinho, who prefers to play in that position. Then we've got Jordan Ibout on the wing, and we'll swap Sinclair for. Ugh. It looks like it's going to have to be Adam Lalana. Didn't have anyone else. See that I've got faith in him. We'll unpause it, obviously. Fingers crossed we can do something different. Sub to sub. Well inclined. Thought storage would have been onto that, but obviously not. Winning that second ball just doesn't seem to happen a lot, unfortunately. Oh, very nearly 2 0. Have you brought in? Where did you finish? First season, I finished second. I am. Um, I was about five games to go. I was a bit twitchy over whether I was gonna finish um, or be able to finish first. Um, but sadly, I fell away, and that's what ends up happening. Just um, I didn't perform well in those last few games, and also I had Chelsea won the league. Yes, get in, Lalana. Chelsea won the league. Um, I played them and they beat me, I think, or it drew, so I definitely wasn't going to win it at that point. So it was unfortunate. Oh, Sturridge tried an overhead kick there by the looks of it. And the finish by Lalana. Uh, here's me saying, no, no, I need to play him. 
penalties. <laughs> penalties, 12, 10, 10, 10, 10. Jesus, there's no way I'm going to win this. My second best penalty taker is my keeper. Unbelievable. I'm not even going to pick them. I'm just going to say start. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, Lalana was a great substitute. Just hopefully my penalty takers are going to be good enough. I didn't win the FA Cup, no. Chelsea won, um, I think they'd done the treble. So, obviously I finished second. That means I got to be in this competition. Or in this game. Oh, for God's sakes. Or a crack and start to a penalty shootout by me. Oh. And they score. Damn it. Get in storage. Oh. I don't think we're going to win this one. I must admit. Oh, brilliant save by Reykjavik. Typical of penalties. Just when you think it's all going um, badly. Come on, Reykjavik. Oh. There's quite a few pens that just go underneath them. Composure and finishing are also important during the penalties. Yeah... As a first look, I just look at the the penalty stat to see what it says. Obviously, you want them to be as high as possible as well, don't you? Hopefully, I can get this one, and then it's going to be put a bit of pressure on them. Jordan Ibe, come on. Go, oh, get in. Ramirez. Oh, for God's sakes. Jemison. Oh, just got to keep scoring now. Pedro. Yes, I won it. <laughs> Shows how much I know. Saying that we wouldn't win it. <laughs> I'm happy with that. So, transfers. Where, where are we? Transfer history. So, this is all transfers. So, we go back to. I don't know whether. Did you see last season? <laughs> I am. Um, I'll go back to. I might as well go back to the first season so that you can see that. Um, the. Patch that was that was um that only came out a couple of, maybe last week I think it was. I hadn't installed that so I don't know whether Ramirez went to China after that. Okay, so these are the players that are brought in in the first season. I don't know whether they, just let me know if you want to have a look at any of them. I mean the goalkeeper out of all of them, he he is 20, and he's been brilliant. So, then who else? I mean, the only other person really out of all of them is Romero. I think at the time I needed the central midfielder, so he's the go-to guy, isn't he? Not that I've played, I don't think I've played him actually that much, but obviously, you know, he's dependable when you need him. He's, you know what, he is decent. It's just giving him games and making sure that he progresses. So, he's being decent. Just one of those things. It's just, you know, when you bed him in and play him against the players or who were already developed more so. But yeah, he is pretty darn good. 
So I don't know whether anyone wants me to click on any of the others, or you want me to have a look at the next ones. Yakovic got like three long-term injuries for me, all of them by playing for Austria's under 21. Broken bones, ligament injuries, that said development went down the drain. Yeah, it's a pity about the um, that player and David. I mean, how's he doing at the moment? Uh, I mean, he's developing pretty well. Obviously, I've, I think I loaned him out not long back. I can't remember. But yeah, he's decent. So, tactics is... This is what I'm currently playing. Obviously, you see me switch it out. I'll have a look in a second. Tom Tom, sorry. Just trying to show everyone everything. This is what I'm playing at the moment. I've also got the one that I switched it to, which is this one. Um, at first, I was playing a, four two, a narrow 4-2-3-1, um, but I think it was Lalana who got injured, so I thought I'll throw Ibe in and throw him out over on the right wing. I've also got this one, which I tend to play of um, thinking that I'm not going to do very well against the team. So the guy who bought from Bure was Jakovic. It's him. He's not too bad at all. And then that's the player who was mentioned just a couple of seconds ago. So then, for this season, we've got Andre Carrillo, which is um, unbelievable. Got him for nothing. He's worth 31.5 million. Can't complain about that. Then we've got Tivkovic, Stojanovic, which is a younger player. But you know, he's half decent and I needed someone to cover right back. Then we've got Martinez. He's fairly decent. I don't know why I bought him. I'm guessing I thought seen potential to get some money back from selling him. Then we've got Vlasic, who is awesome, or looks awesome anyway. He's just a sorry so he is he's here still with us we've got Weber who we've got mm, he looks like he could potentially be brilliant as well who else have we got we've got Dura paid 3 million for him he's developing nicely or um Grujic who's just gone out on loan to Hadjuk Split He's not been developing, but I've only just got him and then sent him out on loan. Yeah, he was a bargain, Carrillo. Oh, yeah. And then, last but not least, is Rugani, who got pushed off the ball far too easily for me, which was unbelievable. His strength is 16 as well. That Vlasic or something has insane physical attributes. Vlasic. Yep, he has, for 18 years old as well. It's just this jump and reach is um, pitiful. So, brought some decent players, I must admit. It's just a case of trying to bed them in and give them time, etc. Um, hopefully, you know, we can use them to their full potential. If not, we can sell them on for a nice tidy profit. And that's what I end up doing with a lot of the youngsters that I have. I play the ones who are brilliant and then the other one to try and make a profit as much as possible. So pleased with the performance. Oh. Unbelievable. Jose Mourinho. Yeah, as you'll notice, he's still at Chelsea as well. And that's because I haven't loaded, um, put the update. Or oh, this is an old save, should say. Wrexham. Captain for the season. Henson and Sacco seem to be the two main choices to go with that one. 